Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi and today we're gonna to talk about what it is to take that first step of becoming an expert in cryptocurrencies, however that looks for you. These are some really decent building blocks that you can use to be that person. So let's get into it. So the cool thing about cryptocurrencies and how they function and what actually sets them apart from that fiat currency system, the legacy financial system, is that everything that happens on the blockchain is publicly viewable. It's why it's called pseudo anonymous for nearly every cryptocurrency apart from the very few that are actually designed specifically to be privacy coins. Now because of this, for those of us, like hopefully you're like me and you like to protect your privacy online, especially when you're dealing with what, you know, your value, your wealth, what you're doing with your money, you want to protect that. Knowing that information helps you understand how you can further protect your privacy. There's a lot of tools to do it. It's absolutely uh, possible to protect your privacy and interact with things like Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. If you haven't joined our CT club yet, that's our paid membership group. A link to that is down below in the video description. And with that membership comes access to a multitude of different classes spanning over an hour long. Um, it's exclusive access to those members, but one of those classes involves privacy both online and within the cryptocurrency space, how to protect it. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you check that out. You can also use this information, also known as on-chain data, basically what is happening on chain on the blockchain that's what makes it publicly viewable that's what makes it immutable um, and so you know exactly what's happening you can use that information to be a much more educated and intuitive and just an all-around better investor you can understand the trends as they're happening you can be more prepared for different changes in the trends in the cryptocurrency markets if you caught my previous video telling you how you invest in this cryptocurrency space actually if affects how this space evolves over time, this is what I'm talking about. These are the tools that you can use to be a more educated investor to bring that self-regulation into this cryptocurrency space. Um, I'm going to go over a few other different videos uh, in this coming weeks telling you how to do this. So here's the first step by checking out on-chain data. One thing a lot of people like to pay attention to are what are the whales doing? People who own a very, very large amount of cryptocurrency, be it Bitcoin, Ethereum, what have you, what are they doing with their funds? Are they taking those funds out of their cold storage and onto an exchange, maybe in preparation to make some trades to sell those coins? Are they taking a lot of coins off of an exchange and into cold storage? As in, they're not gonna be buying or selling it, they're gonna be holding it. That can definitely be an indication of either volatility soon to come, um, a drop in price if a lot of coins are being moved onto an exchange. And conversely, you know, if they're taking the coins off of an exchange, it's taking them out of circulation, essentially, um, out of the ability to affect the price. So maybe we're gonna see a relative uh, time period of accumulation or stability within that coin. Another thing a lot of people like to pay attention to that is indicative of kind of the overall growth of the network of that coin altogether are things like wallet creations. Bitcoin and Ethereum, these are classic kind of data points that a lot of people like to point out to, to show how much the network is growing, how many users they have of that coin. And as of late, Ethereum has definitely kind of taken the spotlight from Bitcoin because there's, they actually outnumber the amount of Ethereum wallets outnumbers those of Bitcoin. So whether that's in preparation for this Ethereum 2.0 rolling out or, what ha or just the overall popularity of DeFi and NFT, and the need for an Ethereum wallet, who knows, but it's definitely indicate, it's definitely indicate, indicative. It's definitely indic, <laughs> it's definitely indicative of the overall health of the network, of the network effect of that coin. Another helpful tool for you to look at are things like historical price points, be it an all time high, because for those of you who are looking for a good entry or exit points, those can definitely be, they're often psychological numbers, like a nice round number, like $10,000 
$50,000, what have you. These can often prove to potentially be support or resistance lines. So for those of you who are looking at time to buy or sell, maybe you wanna pay attention to those. Also, this last one isn't so much having to do with on-chain data, but it's definitely something to pay attention to, especially now that we live in a world where meme coins are all over the place, looking at the trending topics on social media platforms. Meme coins are all over the place, like I just said, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu coin, Safe Moon, whatever, there's so many. And basically what's driving these is the marketability of them and people who are susceptible to that uh, on social media. So basically this can help you figure out which coin the newbies like this week. But also in a more general sense, these social media trending topics can help you see uh, what other kind of topics of cryptocurrencies are going to gain some popularity, whether it's privacy coins or DeFi coins or exchange coins, what have you. So you might be asking, okay, cool, but how do I get that information? What are some reliable sources for this data? Well, I got three for you to check out. All of these that I'm listing today will be uh, provided for you down below in the video description. And also each of these platforms give you lots of free information. So you don't have to have a paid membership to get a lot of insights that you wouldn't have all uh, have had otherwise. But two of these I do know allow for a paid membership that might provide for a more specific type of information data sets um, or maybe even notifications for specific things occurring. Uh, so anyway, here's the first one is Masari Institute. I think that's, that's how I say it in my head. I don't know how you really pronounce it. Anyway, this is a really good website for a lot of different cryptocurrencies. It's not just for Bitcoin or for any crypto in particular. But what I like about it is it gives you a lot of articles that go through research of different cryptocurrencies. So for those of you who are new and you don't know two things about a cryptocurrency you're about to buy, I highly recommend you check out uh, this option and just read through what they have to say about the coin. It might not be an, op an opinion piece. They might just lay out the facts and it might be up to you to decipher if that's actually a good thing or a bad thing, how it is organized. But uh, this research is definitely a great way for you to be familiar with how a coin actually works, what their use case is, why it was created, and uh, yeah, basically the tokenomics and how it's supposed to function. Also right there on the front page, it gives you updates on what's happening on different networks. For example, I'm on their page right now and we have the software release of Lotus version 1.10 for Filecoin. We have uh, collateral type 0x BTC on MakerDAO. So it's a really easy way to keep up to date on all the changes that are happening across multiple different networks. The next one you can check out is Santiment. Uh, the website for this is actually app.sandbase.net. Again, a link for that is down below as well. This one, I remember when the ICO for this one came out in 2016, or was it 2017? I don't know. Uh, anyway, it's pretty cool. It's a data aggregator for all things happening on chain. Again, this one is not specific to Bitcoin, but for a lot of different cryptocurrencies as well. This one helps you track what's trending across multiple different social media uh, websites, uh, You know, not just what's happening on Google. Also, I believe if you have a paid membership on this one, you can have the alerts set up. So in case something like, old coins are being moved or a whale is moving coins onto an exchange or something like this, or different price points are happening on different coins, you can set an alert and uh, you can take action however you plan to do so. Also, much like Masari, uh, sandbase.net, that one functions with a lot of uh, contributions from a lot of different people, so it's definitely more of a community effort. Uh, so it's, a lot, I think, a more well-rounded uh, perspective of what's happening on the crypto space. And the last one I have for you is the only one that is specific to Bitcoin. Uh, it's called buybitcoinworldwide.com and it's kind of a weird <laughs> website name, but it does have a lot of helpful insights. Again, it's specific to Bitcoin, but on this one, you can see things like mining data, like the stock to flow, what's happening with that. You can look at the moving averages and also the Bitcoin network analysis as well. So if you wanna dive into Bitcoin, that could be a really helpful tool for you. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope that you found this one to be helpful and I can't wait to see how many, how many of you turn out to be experts in the cryptocurrency space sooner rather than later. Hopefully these tools will get you on your way. If you enjoyed this video or if you appreciate it, 
I appreciate it if you leave a like and hit subscribe if you haven't yet to get your daily fix of all things crypto. For those of you who have been subscribed for years now, you might remember that catchphrase. Maybe I'm gonna bring it back since actually we're doing videos on a daily basis now. So yeah, we're pumping out videos every day. So if you like this content, hit subscribe with a bell notification and you'll be, you'll be seeing them. So anyway, until then, hope you're staying happy and healthy. I'll see you later.